I was born in it. Batman. <laughs> oh, man. Don't be talking about my ponytail either. Don't be talking about my ponytail. Now, welcome back to the Empire. Kings and Queens. <laughs> this is KB 2.0. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Like this video before you watch it. That's all you gotta do is hit the like button before you watch it. You already know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. I even mean them around there. I'm just a rapper. You got a tapper. I don't know what beat I had in my head. Down below in the description is the link to the original video. You can go there, hit them with a like. Come back, watch this, and then subscribe to their channel after you subscribe to mine. Simple instructions. Also, down in the description is all my social medias down below. Follow me there. And I put my Twitch down there because I'm about to start going live on Twitch. Also, you already know what we're back with. Another horror story animated. We going back, we going to the animation sometime. I got MJV animation. You seen what happened last video. Dude was scared. He wouldn't put his back to the door respectfully. We got two true e eBay horror stories animated. And I know some of y'all used to shop on eBay. Some of y'all probably still do. If you used to or still do shop on eBay, hit me with that like. But we're going to see what they on. They never cease to amaze me. Let's see how this goes, man. I've been waiting. Let me put my ears on. I see you see my new background. I got the light shining. The light is shining. But we're going we're going to get into this video. Let's see what they talking about. Let's go. I'm a college student and my laptop recently broke. It was in the middle of the semester, so I was really in need of a new one. I searched on eBay and saw an ad for the exact laptop I was looking for. It was a miracle. It was the new HP Pavilion for an absurdly low asking price. I was so excited I immediately bought it, as it was only listed a few hours ago, and I wanted to be sure to get it before anyone else could. Although the thought of it being a scam never even crossed my mind once when buying it. I bought a laptop on eBay. I probably still got it in my history. Back when I was in the military, I needed it. That's when I was first starting, trying to start my YouTube. And I ordered it, and then my sergeant was putting it in my head that I was getting scammed. It took a while for the computer to get there, so I'm like, oh, they just took my money. Even though it only cost, what, 170-something? I mean, I could easily get that back, but it's the it's the fact that I, I'm getting scammed. I'm like, dang, people really trying to take my money out here. It finally showed up a week later. I was kind of mad because I'm like, one, why did it take so long? And two, I thought he scammed me. I'm already, you feel me? But don't always listen to what people say, man. They might be telling you something that's that's not the truth. You feel me? Follow your instincts. As I waited a while, don't always I trust eBay off. either. I'd constantly go back to the page and look at it with anticipation. I was excited. It felt like Christmas. And just over a week later, the laptop finally arrived. A bit annoyed, I noticed that there wasn't much protection for the laptop in the box it came in. Not at all. But luckily, it was fine, and it didn't have any visible damage. I opened the laptop and immediately saw a sticky note on the screen. It was a four digit PIN. I was confused. Why would the seller not remove their account prior to sending the laptop? It made no sense to give me the PIN to sign it to their account. Why wouldn't you just do a hard reset before shipping it? Of course, I ignored my suspicion and used the pin to sign into the account. When typing it- Oh, also, read the description. Like, during that whole Xbox thing, there was actual people selling Xboxes. And there was people that was saying, that was showing a picture of an Xbox on there, like the photos of what the item is that they selling. But in the description, it say, you're purchasing a picture of the Xbox. And people don't look at the description and they just buy it or they see- Oh, that's for sale? Because they see the picture up there? Oh, cool. But in the description, it say we're selling a picture of Xbox for the price of an actual Xbox. And people would just be buying it. Watch out for those. People like that, watch out for them. I had my mom buy she, My mom bought one of the old PlayStation systems. And it said it comes with only the PlayStation and the power cord. But it don't come with the, uh, the adapters and everything. It just comes with a power cord and system. And she didn't read that part. So we like, so she like, yeah, plug it in. How we don't have we don't have the uh, the cords to plug it into the TV. We can plug it into the wall. It's just gonna be on. No controller. Come on, read the description before you purchase anything. In the pen, I couldn't help but notice the profile picture to the Outlook account was solid black. A bit eerie, but I continued to sign in anyway. There was nothing special at first. The background was a standard default image of a beach that Microsoft uses with its computers. I assumed all the files and everything would be cleared, and most of them were. But I couldn't help but notice some files still remained on the laptop. What sensible person would leave their files for a stranger to see? Anyway, I was looking through the files. They all looked to be normal photos and videos. 
say, what sensible person would uh would leave their photos on a computer for a stranger to see? What sensible stranger would look through somebody else's photos? If you were so worried about them hard reset, why didn't you hard reset yourself? You could have did it. Even though they didn't do it, I understand. If you're so worried about all that, why don't you put in the pen, log into the computer, and then hard reset the computer yourself? You don't have to worry about nobody seeing the photos. You don't have to see the photos. You strolling through their photos, you could see it. I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all imagine what I see, and I'm going to leave it at that. But he could have hard reset it himself. I'm just saying. They were photos of woods and a river. They didn't seem planned out, though. Almost as if the photos were accidents. They weren't even symmetrical, and they were just blurry and honestly terrible photos, almost as if they were purposely bad. There was also a single picture of a room. It looked very simple, plain, and had beige walls, a bed, a large vent, and a light. A light made the room look really strange. But just then, I came across a video. The video was absolutely terrifying. It featured off-putting audio, and this weird combination of videos of this man in a very disturbing Mickey Mouse mask, and it was cutting back and forth from him to some very disturbing clips that I couldn't make out. I could hear groans and some shuffling. Earth, Wind, and Fire's September was also playing in the background. After a rewatch, I was very uneasy. Do you remember? The of all these things made for a beautiful very time video. in September. I instantly went back to the ad on eBay for some answers. But it was gone. Oh, that's how much you paid? Fifteen dollars? Oh, you should have. You worry about a scam over fifteen dollars? If they scam you for fifteen dollars, they obviously need it. You might as well just chalk it up and be like, they need it more than me. Second, you see a computer that costs fifteen dollars, and you say, let me buy that. That's not even a reasonable price. All right, anything above fifty for a laptop, depending on what the laptop is. All right, it's kind of sketchy, but that's a big price. Cool, a hundred dollars. That's that's a reasonable price for a laptop. Fifteen dollars? He probably just wants your fifteen dollars. You might as well message him. What's your cash at, man? I'll just send you the fifteen dollars. I don't even want the laptop. You down bad for you to sell your laptop. Come on. I couldn't remember the seller's name, but I do remember what town it was shipped from. It was a small town in Utah I'd never heard of. I looked it up to realize that that town didn't even exist. I was confused. I thought maybe this was all just some sick prank pulled by the seller. But that seemed too far fetched. What person would go through the process of setting up an eBay ad, making this video, putting it on Am I the only one that does this? Like, before I purchase something, I figure out who it is and I search them before I even purchase it. Am I the only one that does that? To see if that, that's a real place? At least? Like, I'm not sketchy, it's just, I gotta see where it's coming from and how, how long I'm... It's, it's not that I'm sketchy of a person, it's just, I'm trying to estimate in my head how long it's gonna take. Because it don't tell me. So I'm like, okay, where are they shipping it from? Okay, so I'm going to have it by this date. Cool, cool. That'll be good. I don't wait for it to ship to see when it's going to come. I just estimate it off of their location, and I'll search it. But he didn't do that. Am I the only one that? I don't know. A nice computer and selling it at such a low cost, and even giving sign-in info of his account, it didn't make sense. There were no more files on the computer, and I tried searching for more things, any hint as to what the video was, but I found nothing. Why don't you After just messing around on the laptop for a bit? I decided to call it a night and head to bed. So you not day, going to wipe the computer? Six thirty in the morning and went to school. When I got back so now he got your IP. Day, I went to my laptop and sat down, hoping to unwind for the rest of the day. I opened my laptop and that's when I saw it. It took me a second to notice, but the profile wasn't solid black anymore. It was changed. That's why you got to sunk into my chair, feeling hot flashes run through me. That's why you got to wipe the computer for a good minute or two, analyzing and trying to make out what the picture was. It was a close up, semi blurry picture of a front door and its doorknob. I instantly wiped everything and I frantically began deleting the photos and the video from the all phone. of a sudden. Now you want to wipe I it. Also removed the account from the laptop. Dummy I thought about getting rid of the laptop altogether, but I needed it for school. I couldn't get rid of it. He got the IP so already. It's over with. I'm a musician, and I also make films with my good friend. I began to install all the software I use. After about an hour, I was all set. As I began, I completely lost track of time. I had been writing and recording for hours on that computer. However, unavoidably at this point, that video came back to my mind. Specifically just how disturbing that Mickey Mouse mask was, and even the sounds from the video. That's when I saw something. My heart instantly dropped to my stomach. I noticed the light to my webcam was on. It had been on the entire time, and I had been too distracted to even notice. 
I sat there for a second in shock, frozen as I stared at the small light. I quickly regained my attention and slammed the screen down, shutting it. That was it. I finally took the laptop, heading outside as quickly as I could. I opened it and spread it against the curb, stomping down on it. I curb stomped it too, and proceeded to throw it into my trash bin. I was still. That looked more like terrified. that looked more than two pieces. How long was I being watched? Who was watching me? Was the guy even from Utah? Questions raced in my mind, and of course, I called the cops. I was on the phone with 911, and they said they'd send two cars over to check around. If I'm being honest with you, I don't think they cared. I think they just sent them to calm me down. After a five minute search, they told me that I'd be fine, and that there are just creeps out there who are willing to do anything to scare people. And they left. But to be fair, there wasn't really anything they could do. I didn't sleep that night, and I kept my lights on, blinds closed, doors and windows locked, and I stayed up and watched TV. But while I was doing this, it hit me. That profile picture that was originally black and it changed to a picture of a door and its doorknob. That was my front door. I moved out two days later, and I bought a real laptop from Best Buy. To this day, that video is still ingrained into my mind, and it still disturbs me from time to time. And I also wonder how whoever this was was able to get a picture of my front door. One thing's for sure though, I will never be using eBay again. It has nothing to do with eBay. Probably the person on eBay, but not eBay itself. My wife and I had recently got married. Now, you should have looked at the description long. like I said, and you would have been Ooh, fine. Man. Wipe the computer when you first get it, and they wouldn't have got your IP to know your address and take a picture. Consists of two buildings across from each other. The view from our bedroom looks directly at the other building, but hey, the place was cheap and in a good location, so we couldn't complain. We hit it off with one of our neighbors right away. His name was Jeff. He was a bit older, probably mid-30s. Anyway, I go to the gym a lot, and I like to use headphones when I'm working out. Though, my headphones recently broke, so I decided to start my search for new ones on eBay. I found a pair of new Beats by Dre wireless headphones for pretty cheap. Cheap enough to think you were getting a good deal, but not enough to think you were getting scammed. I thought I struck gold, so I bought them. But of course, upon arrival I quickly noticed the headphones were fake. I started the process of filing a complaint with eBay, but deep down I knew it was no use. The Did you read the description? As fake as they were, the headphones actually sounded really good. So I took them to my workout at the gym that was on the first floor of my building. I was running on the treadmill, and they were doing really well. Just as I started thinking these counterfeits aren't that bad, the left ear cup started producing this crackling noise. I ignored it and kept running. Then, a loud bang came from both of the cups, and I nearly tripped on the machine it was so loud. I stopped. Silence completely overtook the headphones. Oh, uh, yeah, silent your headphones popped. Returned. And this time with what seemed like whispers. I knocked on the plastic cups, hoping that it fixed them. It did, but a few minutes later the crackling noise got loud again, reaching an unbearable pitch. As I was about to take the headphones off, the music started playing again. I didn't think twice about this event. I mean, I guess this is what I get for not seeing the signs of buying fake headphones, right? Fast forward to the next day, and I asked Jeff if he could come over and help me install some lights. He's an electrician, and I asked him to help me install a pair of those clapping lights. I guess I watched too many movies. Clap on, really clap on. Just clap for the light to come on. I found a good deal and bought a few, and Jeff was helping me install them. He offered to do it for free, which was really nice. Anyway, since eBay hadn't done anything regarding my issue, I decided to keep the headphones. The seller wouldn't give me a refund, and they sounded at least decent, so I sucked it up. Two days later, I was relaxing on my balcony listening to Kanye's new album at the time. <laughs> and just then... <that. laughs> and the same crackling noise started. Yeah. Clap on, clap me, off. But it got louder and louder. It finally got really loud, and then it stopped. Whispers came through the headphones again. I turned up the volume to the max to confirm that there were people whispering, and not just some static sound I was mistaking for whispers. But no. Sure enough, I could hear what sounded like deranged whispers. Though, what stood out to me most was the clear whisper of my wife's name. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't mind the first oh, time. Oh, you hear phone for this. This one was about my wife. But I quickly wrote it off as some kind of radio interference, and just a coincidence that I could hear my wife's name. I decided to ask Jeff about it, since like I mentioned earlier, he was an electrician, and he might know something about Everything it. Everything always gotta be a coincidence. I phone and texted him, 
asking if he could answer a question for me. Two hours later, and I was still sitting on my balcony without a response from Jeff. Finally, around 8pm, I saw Jeff walk out of his building. As soon as he got out, I yelled, asking him if he got my text. He replied saying, Nah, dude, sorry, I left my phone at work. Why, what's up? Did those lights stop working? Did somebody text responded, you back? Telling him that the lights were fine, though what I said next seemed to set him off. I asked him how it would be possible to hear whispers through headphones, and if it might have been picking up a radio frequency somehow. Jeff just stopped in his tracks. He was looking up at me, but he wasn't moving or saying anything. After about a minute or so of silence, he responded saying he didn't know and smiled, but it was obviously forced. He then quickly went back into his apartment. I thought the whole encounter was strange, but I didn't think too much about it, and I was decently tired, so I just decided to go to sleep. At around 2 to 3 a.m., some kind of noise woke me up. I'm a light sleeper, and even little things get me, but this sounded pretty loud. I woke up enough to realize that the sound was coming from the headphones. It was the same crackling that got louder and louder. Finally, it went away, and silence took over. I turned the volume all the way up, trying to hear anything, but I still couldn't. Just then, a loud clap came from the headphones. As the light in our bedroom turned on instantly. I was still a bit sleepy, so it took me a second to comprehend what was happening. The clap from the headphones must have activated the lights. That's when a thought came to me. I walked over to my window, and that's when I nearly screamed. The building across the street had all lights off. All but one. Jeff was standing in the window in his apartment. He was just looking straight at me. He was holding something that looked like a radio. He brought it to his mouth, and just as he did, the crackling came from the headphones again. Jeff must have somehow switched out my eBay package in front of my door with another package that carried fake headphones that had a speaker in them. I still don't know how he knew I had bought headphones, and why he would even do something like this. Although, the guy did always give me a weird vibe despite his kind of demeanor. Needless to say, me and my wife moved out shortly after this experience, and I've never seen Jeff since. You ain't confront him about that? My dude, what you, what you touching my package for? What's good with you? Is this a prank? Cause I don't do pranks. I don't, I don't do pranks at all. Take a knuckle to the forehead. But <laughs> <laughs> I hope y'all like this reaction. I like the video. MJV Animations. You did your thing again. Y'all coming up. Y'all come. Y'all coming up in the world. I like it. I love listening to stories like that. I wanted them to have more jump scares because I know y'all like when when I'm almost falling out my seat, jumping out my seat. I don't know how y'all like that. Y'all, something wrong with y'all. Either way, I still like the video. I hope y'all subscribe to the channel before y'all watch it. Come on, man. Like the video before y'all watch it, man. Go in the description and follow me on all my social media, especially my Twitch, because I'm going to start doing Twitch with gaming and all live before you watch the video, all right? Come on, man. I know y'all did that already. I know y'all already went into the description, looked at the original link to this video, went to their video, liked their video, then came back, watched this, and then go there and watch their video by yourself if you wanted to, and then subscribe to their channel after you subscribe to mine. I know y'all did all that. I ain't going to put that past y'all. I know y'all did it. And if y'all have any questions, hit me in the comment section. I'll answer them. I'm going to get on out of here. KB2.0, out. <laughs>